Uh, when she goes dot dot dash and I never like that but here at Wimbledon she settled down to a rhythm it's quite an easy rhythm and that's a very good sign so I think that we should be in for a great match at least I hope so so Virginia Wade to serve now Miss Wade to serve first set play Fifteen love. Sorry. Very nasty sun shining right into the eyes of the right handed server at the centre of the court. Fifteen all. Game to Miss Waite. First game, first set. Well, I can't remember seeing uh, Virginia Wade in an important match on the centre court open as convincingly as that. And Shirley Bracer was saying just now she likes to see her when she's in rhythm and not with her uh, stop go, stop go uh, method of play, which we've so often seen. And really, she did get into her rhythm very well indeed there. She served well three of her services, first services in, and uh, she looked really quite uh, quite relaxed. Shirley, I thought uh, that was as good a start as I'd seen her make on the centre court. It wasn't quite the start I'd expected. I thought she would come in very early, and she didn't. She stayed back. But then again, that's Virginia for you. I mean, who, who could predict what she's going to do? But it certainly was a great start because it was very controlled and confident. I think she really believes she's going to win, and that's very important. Chris Everett now to serve, with Virginia Wade leading one game to Miss Everett to serve. <laughs> Fifteen love. Love. And that was a pity because Virginia had played a really deep penetrative volley there and it wasn't too good a lob. Should have had that smash.
15. Very cool, calm, high backhand volley on the tenth stroke of the rally. I mention that because it shows that Virginia Wade is striking the ball well early in the match to be able to play a ten stroke rally. Forty-fifteen. Tremendous uh, crowd on the centre court, absolutely packed at the very start of the match. That's in the open stand, some right in their faces. Forty-fifteen. Forty-thirty. Interesting there, Virginia Wade calmly coming in like a, a really experienced mature volleyer, not rushing in madly like she often does. Deuce. So good recovery from 40-15 to Deuce. <coughs> Advantage Miss Wade. So that back and pass gives Virginia Wade break point. Oh, that's a fantastic shot. Game to Miss Wade. Two games to love. Miss Wade leads in the first set. Well, this is almost too good to be true. Miss Wade playing in full rhythm and the courage to go for a backhand pass as uninhibited as that. So here she is Quite with a break of serve. Leading to love first set in the semi final. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty.
30, 40. Good point for Virginia Wade. First service in and her first volley behind the serve. Really deep. Not always does she accomplish that. Deuce. So here's a good pullback too from 1542 Deuce. Advantage Miss Wade. Seven points played and five first surfaces is in. This makes such a difference. Advantage, Miss Everett. Just out. Deuce. Well, that was a very, very good approach. She waited for the half-court ball from Miss Everett around the service line, got onto it very quickly with heavy slice, and the slice kept the ball a bit low. So that was a good point for Virginia. Deuce. Advantage, Miss Wade. Once again, Virginia Wade coming in quietly and calmly, choosing the right ball to come in on. Bad length ball, and then the heavy backhand slice approach. A big first serve would help her cause here. game this one four deuces so far and uh, a lot of rally play for every point
advantage, Miss Everett. Well, that was an astonishing rally to uh, give Miss Everett another break point. for Virginia to win after that long exhausting rally when um, she was a little bit unlucky to lose the point because the lob volley was a little bit lucky from uh, the champion. It's a really hard game this one. Five deuces. Advantage, Miss Everett. This is uh, the fifth break point Miss Everett has had in this long game. No. Advantage, Miss Everett. Count a little bit out of the uh, edge of the racket, but brings it back to Deuce. Advantage, Miss Wait. Well, it seems she was a little hesitant whether to come in behind the back end and play an approach shot or just play it and go back. And of course, she paid the penalty. Yep. Advantage, Miss Wade. Extraordinary game. There's 1540 at one time for Ginny Wade. They've now had nine deuces. 
and Crusader has had six break points. Todd. Advantage, Miss Wade. <laughs> well, that shows. She's relaxed, uh, relaxed, she's mentally keyed up, obviously, but uh, physically relaxed. There's some change yeah, of serving tactics there. Miss Wade leads by three games to love in the first set. Well, that was a remarkable uh, game for Miss Wade there. And uh, let's show you a rally here uh, on our low angle camera, which gave her opponent her fourth break point. Shirley so Bridge taking Virginia it. Virginia Wade served the forehand, Everett forehand across court. She's playing onto Virginia's forehand, which usually yields more points. She's trying to move her now across the court. Wade backhand coming in. Seems as though it might be rather dangerous. Wade back, volleys back, trying to cut the angle. So Everett lobs. Wade smash. Everett gets it back, an incredible get. The crowd gasps and think Virginia's got the point, instead of which Everett retrieves it back. Virginia runs and just has to put it out. Well, that was an amazing point, but it didn't put Virginia off at all because she then came back to win the game. A game which really could be very important, a battle of wills. So far, Virginia Quite leading nice. three games to love, first set. Fifteen love. All. We've never seen Miss Wade put her first volley away as well as she's done today. Believe it or not, Virginia Wade hasn't missed Five one minutes. high backhand volley. Miss Wade, four games to love. Miss Wade leads in the first set. And this really is quite remarkable because Virginia Wade has hardly made an unforced error. And this is the uh, most incredible thing. She's timing the ball so quite beautifully. Nice. And it really, really looks as though she's enjoying it, which uh, sometimes we haven't 
Uh, couldn't have said that sometimes when she's been on the centre court. For love. Love 15. First double fall of the match. And Miss Evett there, the victim of a rather bad bounce in the middle of the court. to Miss Abbott. Miss Wade leads by four games to one in the first set. Well, champions always think the most when they're losing. And I don't doubt that Chris is thinking now because she is the most perceptive of players. To date, the match has been played on Virginia's terms. And if Virginia is going to do well, then it has to be on her terms. But Chris is going to change that, all that if she possibly can. So far, she isn't perhaps playing her best by any means, but nor is she playing her worst. On the only occasion that I, recent occasion that I've seen Virginia beat her, then at the Joe Cup, she, Chris Everett did not play well. Today, I don't have that feeling. I don't think, I think she's in the rallies, but Virginia is dictating, and that, that really is what is happening. Virginia is concentrating on Chris's forehand quite a lot, just as Chris is also having a go at Virginia's forehand. Virginia's keeping the ball very low, and that isn't the type of game that Chris really likes. She likes the ball to stand up so she can give it a good hit, and Virginia, with her slice, can do that, keep it down. So Virginia leading by four games to one, Chris Everett to serve. It's out. Yes. Yes, it was out. Miss Everett, Love 30. Miss Everett actually turned away when she'd hit the ball. She didn't really uh, look to see if it was in or out. She turned her back thinking she'd hit it in, but it did float just out. Absolutely correct for all that. 
Love to do. Tempted to go forward for that. I think uh, she would have been wise to have saved the energy. 1530. You can see the skid marks there at the back of Virginia. The grass still a bit sappy, well behind the uh, baseline. Sometimes that puts the opponent off. They take their eye off the ball, looking at the, uh, the victim on the floor, and lose the point. But everything all right for Miss Everett then? Five games to one. Miss Wade leads in the first set. And I do believe Miss Wade, with that lovely approach shot, rather rushed uh, the champion into a very, very Quite, unusual hurried Thank return. You. And I believe that uh, Miss Everett now is really very disturbed. She hasn't seen Miss Wade play like this, I'm quite sure. Certainly not at Wimbledon. Love thirty. It's a pity because the lob wasn't all that good. This way it went up for the smash, still inside the uh, service court. They can hardly believe it. I think they're stunned by the excellence of Miss Wade's play.
Game from the seventh. Miss Wade leads by five games to two in the first set. Undoubtedly, what Chris Everett is trying to do now is to stay in this set, not just with the chance of trying to win it, but really with the object of denting some of Virginia Wade's confidence, which is very high at the moment. If only Chris Everett feels, I think, that she can break Virginia up a bit more, then she may still get this set. And if not, then she, has, she can boost her own ego a bit by getting some more games. She certainly in the last two service games of Virginia has played very controlled tennis and this is really what she's going to have to do otherwise Virginia is going to go wild at net I think too that um, Virginia now is a very much more professional player we in Britain may not like her living in America so much but the Americanization of Virginia has really been very good she's professional in every aspect. Now, Chris Evert to serve. Virginia Wade leading 5-2. Chris Evert with new balls. Well. Love 15. Love 30. Well, that may be a sign of the uh, strain. The second double fought. <laughs> Love 40. So three set points for Virginia Wade. Second set, Miss Wade to serve. First set then, 6-2 in 38 minutes. And I haven't seen Miss Wade play better than this at Wimbledon in the White and Cup match years ago. Nine years ago, I think it was, played something like this. Fifteen love. Thirty fifteen.
Uh, how often players do that? And played. Yes. See what happened there when she didn't uh, do enough with the forehand volley. Gave Miss Everett a chance to really lob, uh, lob her off the court. Good smash, though. Deuce. Advantage, Miss Evett. Game to Miss Evett. First game, second set. Well, Miss Evett, they're really showing uh, how to use the length and width of the court, although one of those balls was dangerously close to the line. Let Shirley Burrish take you through uh, that point. Virginia serving to the left court. Everton on the forehand. Returns back to Virginia's forehand. They're going now to rally cross court. No, sorry, she goes down the line. Wade backhand out, back to Everton down the line. Everton across the court. Virginia back across now. Everton opening up the court, making Virginia run. As wide as she possibly can, Virginia just scrapes it back. But Everton, like all good players, is closing in on the net and has an easy kill. And so now it seems that Chris Evert has made the vital start, good start that she needs in this set. She's said in the past that when she's nervous, her service is a shot that goes. And so it seemed in that first set. Now we shall see what happens. She serves one set down, but one game to love up. Love 15. And that was really an extraordinary shot. I don't think she intended to loop that ball to change the pace. I think that was a completely misjudged shot. Love 15. Oh. Second service. Fifteen all. Yeah. 
15. This is just where Miss Wade has really got to hang on. Everett's back into this match, winning that opening game, and Virginia really can't afford to make any unforced errors now. And Chris Everett really exploding into that uh, two-handed pass. You really let that one go. Slightly late call, but um, was a fault. Advantage, Miss Wade. I have a feeling that was meant to be a deep, heavy approach shot to the baseline, but it turned out to be a winning drop shot. Oh. Deuce. Advantage, Miss Everett. Game to Miss Everett. Abbott leads by two games to love in the second set. Well, from the British point of view, that was a pity because uh, Virginia Wade had a break point there. And having dropped her opening service in the second set, it's really quite serious. Love too. Best service.
15 all. Uncharacteristic error there from Chrissy Everett, half a bad length ball, well down below the top of the net. Fifteen thirty. Oh, that's a good smash. All. Lovely rally from Miss Wade. Every shot played purposely and right out of the middle of the racket. out. Game to the three. <laughs> Miss Abbott leads by two games to one in the second set. Miss Wade leads by one set to love. And Miss Wade also recovered her poise in that game. Having dropped that opening serve, she definitely played very much better. Let's have a look at that point that she won so well with the smash. It made a 30 all. Virginia serving now. Everett returns cross court. Virginia searching for the opening. Everett going back, still also probing this rally. Is up for anybody who can take it now. They're still sort of searching out to see who can find the opening. Everett cross court again, look for Virginia's forehand. Virginia's returning quite looped. It's not giving way Everett much rhythm. Now Virginia into the net. Might be a bit dashing. No, Everett's lobbed. Virginia going back carefully. And she places her smash beautifully right into the far corner with Miss Everett not even in the picture. And so Virginia now is staying in this match, which she must do, because one remembers the Virginia Slims Championships in Madison Square Garden, New York, and then Chris Evert came back having lost the first set easily to Sue Barker. Now Chris Evert serving, leading two games to one, second set. Love 15. Please. Oh. 
40-15. Well, she wondered whether it was up, I think. 40-15. Games to one, Miss Evett leads in the second set. And Miss Evett getting a gift there as Virginia approached with a ball that was hardly beyond the service line, came in behind it. And it's a hard thing to say, but really against the player of Miss Evett's class, you simply cannot come in on a wish and a prayer like that. One three then, second set. Love 15. That's a great service. <laughs> 15 all. Didn't hit that one anything like as hard. It was pure accuracy that won that point on the service. Thirty all. Just heavy slice serve, making the ball swerve and break away. Forty thirty. And that was a, a thirty four stroke granny. <laughs> stroke.
extraordinary to see uh, Virginia Wade in this uh, relaxed mood after a rally of that length. 34 strokes. Game to Miss Wade. Miss Everett leads by three games to two in the second set. Miss Wade leads by one set to long. Well, that was two of the most astonishing points I've seen in succession. A 34 stroke rally. And then after that momentary breather at the back of the court, Virginia Wade serves one of her best services, really belted it and got away with the point. Remarkable uh, couple of points, surely. They were really quite incredible. I think that Chris was beginning or is beginning to find the holes in Virginia Wade's side of the court. But on the other hand, Virginia is staying in every rally. And the way that she played that rally from the back of the court was really quite amazing. She is very athletic. She runs extremely well. I don't think in, British, in Britain we see her really run very often because she's usually running forward to the net, not round the baseline. A temperament by temperament she likes to come in a lot but there she showed really how well she can run so Chris Everett leading now three games to two in the second set serving Love 15. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. So that drop volley after this superb approach gives Miss Wade two break points. to Miss Wade. Three games all, second set. So that's a recovery of the loss of her own service in the opening game of the second set. Quiet, please. And a really good pullback from 3-1 uh, to 3-0.
15, love. And I've certainly never seen Miss Wade hold her own better in long rallies than she has done today. That was a 14-stroke rally, and the error eventually came from the champion. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Yes, the volley was simple after that wonderful raking forehand into uh, Miss Wade's backing corner. And if you saw the match against that little youngster from America, 14 years of age, Tracy Austin, when the, uh, when the champion played her on this centre court, you will have seen the champion using that shot quite marvellously, that drop shot. Three or thirty or second set. Thirty, forty. excellence of Virginia Wade's play today, what really astonishes me is the perfection of her first volley. Hardly ever has she not failed to make it destructive or to put it away. Three or, uh, three or deuce. 30, 40. Advantage, Miss Everett. Again for Miss Abbott. <laughs> Miss Abbott leads by four games to three in the second set. Miss Wade leads by one set to love. Well, I think the uh, centre court crowd here absolutely uh, fascinated by this performance of Virginia Wade's. Champion has been tipped so heavily to uh, win this, and after a performance against Billie Jean King, uh, which was absolutely uh, first class, one uh, can't help feeling all these people here are surprised at the excellence of the play of Virginia Wade. But I do remember it was about nine years ago on court number one when she was playing Nancy Ritchie in a Whiteman Cup match. She played this marvelous tennis for about uh, eight games. It was as good, if not better, than I'd seen a woman 
ever play. And uh, eventually she lost the match. But let's ask Shirley Berisha how she feels it's going. Well, I feel that Virginia is playing at the very top of her form at the moment. She has played very well in the past, mainly in the United States, and I think perhaps we haven't seen her play so well here before, but undoubtedly she can play extremely well. But Chris Evert, the champion that she is, is fighting back, and now she leads four games to three, second set. Thirty love. Forty love. Game to be seven. Change the ball. <laughs> Miss Everett leads by five games to three. Second set. And the worst game that Miss Everett has, uh, Miss uh, Wade has played so far. Four consecutive errors, giving uh, the champion the love game. And so Virginia Wade serving with new balls to stay in this second set. Love. One remembers the days when Virginia Wade would have stepped straight in and had a go at that before it bounced, but uh, mature players don't do that sort of thing. Forty thirty. Well, Sebert wondering perhaps whether she's going to have another accurate served 
Oh, so that's what I like it. Advantage, Miss Everett. So that's set point for Miss Everett and Miss, uh, Miss Wade having a bit of a job to get some breath there. Set point then for the champion. Effort to save it first service in and a delicately controlled back in low volley. And left. Advantage, Miss Wade. Game to Miss Wade. Miss Everett leads by five games to four in the second set. Miss Wade leads by one set to love. I think I must just ask Shirley Brasher whether she's ever seen uh, Miss Wade put her first volley away better than she's done today. No, I don't think that she has. I think that possibly the influence of Billie Jean has helped with her volleying. In fact, Virginia has now been with Team Tennis for three years and with Billie Jean also and I think that in many ways it's helped her because I think that the sheer professionalism and the preparation and the practice have helped Virginia to become the player that she is today. Also too, she's recently employed an American coach, Jerry Teagarten, who helped Margaret Court, I believe, a couple of years or more ago. And I think that's also helped both Virginia's service and her confidence and today that contributed to her now being a setup, although she's 5-4 down. So Chris Evert now serving for the set. She leads 5-4. Love. Well, Virginia really had a chance there, and uh, Miss Everett knew it because she threw her head back. You already saw her when she played that cross court approach. It was a bad approach. 15 love.
15 all. First service. Yes. No. Thirty fifteen. Yes, just out. Well, I'm lucky. Thirty all. Forty thirty. So for the second time, Miss Everett has set point to make it once at all. <laughs> oh, again, and second set for Miss Everett. Second set to Miss Everett by six games to four, one set all. So it's now Final set, Miss Wade to serve. It's now in 22 minutes. Those two Quiet, sets. Quiet, please. So all ready for the uh, final set of this semi-final. Second set to Miss Everett by six games to four, one set all. So it's now Final set, Miss Wade to serve. It's now in 22 minutes. Those two Quiet, sets. Please. So all ready for the uh, final set of this semi final. Love 15. <laughs> Love 30. First service. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Yeah. 
4030. Advantage, Miss Everett. And that's the first double fort that Virginia Wade has served. Left. First service. First service. Advantage, Miss Wade. drop shot played properly is a very effective stroke, but when you get that angle with it, then it becomes an absolutely outright winner. Advantage, Miss Wade. Miss Wade doesn't believe it was up. I don't know that Miss Everett thought so too. Unfortunate. It's a very extraordinary uh, situation. First game, final set. I believe I believe it's the right decision, but it took a long time to uh, come to it. Well, now let's have a look at this uh, point again. The score is one love to Miss Wade, and let's have a look at this incident. Miss Wade is uh, banging back. She plays a half volley there, and in she comes. Now, is it up or not? And I would say from that. That not. But what happens here, of course, is that Miss Wade thinks it's not up, it hasn't been called, she plays loosely, and when she plays that uh, 
or not bothering about the volley because she thought it wasn't up. But I suppose one could say you don't miss a point until it's been called, and it wasn't called, not up. Let's just have another look at it if we've got time. Now here we go. She plays the loose half volley, slightly mistimed, and in comes Miss Everett, and she hardly picks it up. I think I think the decision was right in the end, but it was badly badly right. And this match being played in first-class spirit, slightly marred there. Love 15. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Forty. Astonishingly, two break points for Virginia Wade for a two games to love lead in the final set. Thirty forty. And as Miss Everett stands there to serve, the sun is shining absolutely brilliantly. to love. Miss Wade leads in the final set. Virginia Wade taking her time before she uh, starts to serve very wisely. <laughs> Fifteen love. Forty love. Well, Miss Wade has served three first services in. She's forty love. Just one more would be a lovely game for her. Forty 
4015. That was awkward for Miss Wood. It checked in the chalk on the baseline. They've tried various substitutes on grass uh, instead of chalk, but they've never, one found, uh, never found anything as satisfactory. Swade leads by three games to love, final set. Well, for the past year or so, Chris Everett has said that she feels that she needs a challenge in her tennis, and Virginia Wade is certainly giving her one today. Three love in the final set. It has to be said that not many players beat Miss Everett in three sets. And I think, although I hate to think of it really, that there was one occasion this season where Rosa Casals led Chris Everett for love in the third and didn't emerge as winner. But nevertheless, Virginia is playing extremely well and Chris is perhaps a little more shaky than she was in the second set when she was three all. That was a crisis for her and she responded then by cutting out the unforced errors and really carrying the fight to Virginia. Three love in the third though is a different position. It's quite a long way back even for a great champion like Chris. This game, in fact, every game is very, very important now for Virginia, and she must hold her concentration. <laughs> so, Chris Everett to serve, trailing by three games to love. Final set. They've been on court exactly one hour and 38 minutes. Oh. Well, that's an interesting uh, sign when Virginia Wade smiles at an error like that. We've seen a scowl before. Quite. Different men mental attitude entirely. But she had a great chance there. Thirty all. Love three, thirty all, final set. Forty thirty. Game to Miss Evans.
Virginia Wade leads by three games to one in the final set. And it's a long time since Virginia Wade made two successive errors on the uh, return of service. 3-1 then, she's leading in the final set. Love 15. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Good deep service. Thirty all. Well, I wonder if they're thinking here uh, yeah, that Miss Wade is certainly going into the final. We shall see. The ball died absolutely. Well, I must say the champion. Forty thirty. Champion has taken that very well indeed. There was a lot of heavy slice on the Wade backhand, but it really did die on the champion. 40-30. Yes. That, in fact, is Miss Wade's third double fault. I misinformed you earlier when I said it was uh, when she served her first. In fact, she served one in the fifth game of the uh, first set. But it is a most unfortunate moment to serve a double fault anyway. Deuce. That's out. Right. Advantage, Miss Wade. to one in the final set, Miss Wade leads. One of the great arts of winning is to give your opponent the sort of shots that they don't like playing, and that's what Virginia Wade has done so brilliantly in this set. She stretched Chris Everett very wide on the forehand, particularly on service. She's kept the ball low with slice on her backhand, and when Virginia's played her forehand, she's sort of bumped it up with topspin. And that means that Chris Everett really gets very little rhythm for her impeccable ground strokes. So that it's been difficult for her to dictate the match as she would wish. I think too that the incident in the first game perhaps made her slightly shaky. Chris herself I don't think felt that the ball was up, but she did quite rightly say it was the umpire's job to call it. Since then, perhaps her concentration has wavered a little, but Virginia has certainly kept the pressure up extremely well. So Virginia stretching a little. Virginia making sure that she keeps herself relaxed. 
Chris Evert serving now, trailing by four games to one, final set. Fifteen love. Love. Virginia Wade wisely not attempting to go for that uh, winner. Well. 30 15. And that's the seventh double fault by the champion. Desperate shot there. For, uh, the champion trying a whipped up dry volley from right out there. That was an impossible shot. 30 all. Well, they've been playing for more, just a, a minute or two more than now and three quarters, and the champion looks as though she's lost a bit of pace, a bit of strength. Rally could well have won this match for Miss Wade. Miss Wade. Five games to one. Miss Wade leads in the final set. And she does so by the most fantastic play. And the most wonderfully controlled play that by Virginia Wade. Quiet, please. Thank you. So here she goes for the semi final and serving. 5 1. Yes, just out. Love fifty.
15 all. Quiet, please. I do believe the all-round brilliance of Miss Wade today and the consistency of return has really sapped the strength and power of the champion, physically and possibly mentally. 30-15. Still smile at it. 30 all. Extraordinary. Playing the drop shot from just outside the baseline. 5 1, 30 all. Final set. So that forehand net cord Quiet, gives please. Virginia Wade match point. to Miss Wade by two sets to one, six two, four six, six one. Well, that's an astonishing uh, scene here. One would have thought this was the championship itself, but what a marvelous victory. Everybody standing. So in this centenary year, uh, a match to remember if ever there was one. A really remarkable uh, performance by Virginia Wade, who won 6-2. 4-6, 6-1, and that puts her into the final. <laughs>